Dear future self, it's currently October 3, 2021. Yes, still in the middle of pandemic. You wrote this at 10.40 p.m. and you're just 18 years old, literally four weeks before your birthday. Right now, you're a freshman in college taking up BS in architecture. You're very bubbly and witty to your new classmates because you love making up nicknames for them. But deep inside, you're still the shy introverted person. As you might know, you love going to the mountains because that's where your heart is. You love posting pictures and listening to your 2021 playlist called My Best Chance. You love indie music but you don't call yourself edgy nor cool. Playing guitar and writing songs are your floating devices. Reading a book is the portal of your imaginations. You're simple, not too ambitious and hard-driven person, but not lazy. Sometimes you just go with the flow. When worse things happen to you, you diverted them. You're a positive thinker even if it's not okay. You always have this motto in yourself that you're a mirror ball because you show different versions of yourself to different people. But no matter what situations it may be, you are still a believer. And all you do is try, try, and try. Ten years from now, you're a licensed residential architect and a part-time musician on the internet. You're still traveling everywhere, but this time, it's up to your savings and not just from your parents. Where do you go? How many countries do you visit? I'm pretty sure you never stop taking road trips. Do you still hang out and talk to your high school and college friends when the pandemic is over? Do you still post YouTube videos? Run a fan account? Or perhaps write hundreds of songs inspired from your experiences? Are you still playing guitar? Found your first love? Been through a breakup? What songs are you currently obsessed to? What is your fashion style? Do you still collect material things or any sentimental values? Probably you're getting a driver's license so that you can go wherever you want. Aren't you an awkward person anymore? How does it feel to become older? You are living in a modern house situated in the rural area because you love nature. Your bedroom looks like a library with countless books displayed in each corner. I guess you have a small business for your family. How many tears do you cry? How many mistakes? Have you moved past your comfort zones? Do you still have those calluses in your hands? Are you still a Taylor Swift fan? I really hope so. Somewhere out there, you're busy designing houses for your clients. You meet other professionals and meet friends to strangers. You might experience turbulence, downfall, or even failures. But I know you're not giving up easily. I hope you don't take things for granted in those people who supported you from the very start. You're so much better and stronger than I am right now. Maybe wiser, more creative, more talented, beautiful, and mature. You see the world in brand new perspectives. You experience a lot of things. Right now, I'm still studying and making this play so that I can finish school and meet you someday. Don't be mad if some of your past goals didn't happen. The important thing is that you did your best. I hope you're more sensitive with your loved ones. Spend time with them. Laugh a lot. Cry a lot. Remember that you're also a human being. Don't force to change your nature just because you want to be accepted by people. Just be yourself. Be an inspiration to others. Don't write your mistakes in a permanent marker. I promise not to close any doors in opportunity so that you won't regret refusing to them. Be grateful to God for all the blessings you have received. I promise to protect and take care of you. You don't know how much I'm proud of you. Your 18-year-old self, 